the Gospel of December the 26, 2014. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak, or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children <coughs> will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, as we celebrate the feast of, the, of Stephen, the first Saint Stephen, the first martyr, it is very good for us to read the first lecture, which is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the synagogue came and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. They were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. He said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. They cried out, rushed upon him, rushed upon him, threw him out of the city, and began to stone him. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We see the foretelling, the prophetizing of Jesus himself about what was going to happen. Stephen was the very first martyr of Christ after he was resurrected. the first Christian martyr. We have just heard how the Lord tells his disciples, beware of men, they will hand you over, they will scourge you, you will be led before kings as witnesses. For, But he says, and then eventually they will kill you, they will hate you all, they will all hate you because of me. And he says, whoever endures to the end will be saved. It is absolutely necessary to look with the eyes of faith into this enduring to the end to be saved. Anyone reading the history of Stephen would conclude that he was not safe because he was stoned, he was killed. But if we are able to look at the story, at this particular story of the man, with the eyes of faith, then we will realize that beautiful vision when he saw the heavens open and God and Jesus, they're waiting for him. Then we know that he was safe, he was received in heaven as a true witness, as a true martyr. The Lord says, the Spirit, when you are handed over, don't worry about what you are to say. The Spirit will speak through you, the Spirit of your Father. The Lord himself says, it is the Spirit of your Father. Yet, St. Paul would say, the Spirit of the Lord. And we know that it is the Spirit that comes from the Father through the Son. And we see exactly the Holy Spirit at work in St. Stephen. The beginning of the reading it says, Stephen filled with grace and power, and then was, was working great wonders. And then a little bit down further, he said, it says, 
filled with the Holy Spirit. It is not only that the Holy Spirit was acting and speaking through Stephen, and I mean not only that the Holy Spirit was speaking through Stephen when he was debating or teaching. It is more likely that the Holy Spirit was acting. So when we read that he was filled with grace and power, actually what we want to read or understand is that he was filled with the Holy Spirit, which is the force, the incredibly soft force of God that works in us without taking away our freedom. That's incredible. God's force overtakes us if we let Him. That is Him, the third person of the Holy Trinity. How come Stephen was filled with the Holy Spirit in such a way? First of all, because he undoubtedly had decided to follow Christ to the end. He has set about to love God with all his heart, as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Hear ye Israel, our Lord God is one, and you are to love God, your God, with all your conscience, with all your life, with all your strength. So Stephen had decided and was actually living like that. First of all, he received the gift of faith, and the gift of faith which enabled him to come close to the Lord is also a gift of the Holy Spirit. But the presence of the Holy Spirit in the man grows. Not that the Holy Spirit himself would grow or diminish, but rather that we let him act more or less consciously in our lives. As we are cleansed by him, as we are taken over and moved by him, he starts to work wonders in us. How else could any one man be able to be praying, Lord Jesus receive my spirit as they stone him? And later on even shouting up with strong voice, Lord do not take them into account the sin. It would be unthinkable that any single man without restraint or drugs would act like that. I would say perhaps that he was hurting, but not so much so that he couldn't manage himself. And that was a gift from the Holy Spirit. Every day we are asked to give witness of God, of Jesus Christ, we are our own lives. Thankfully, thank God, we are not required to shed our blood like Stephen. But many times we are required to do things that are above our strength. We do not relay, do not relay in what you can do. Rather, ask for the Holy Spirit to act in your life. He can do with us more than we can imagine so that we can be growing in grace in the presence of the Holy Spirit until we are received in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.